All right guys, so how did I wire in the dual pumps? So let me come back here, clean them up, made a mess. So uh, my video broke and basically all I have is my little handheld and it is really hard to keep it still. But you can kind of see, you know, I'm not trying to trash Amazon, but can you see that? Um, you know, I got these off Amazon, they're leaking bad. They're not leaking enough on the floor yet to kind of show a drip. But if you see right there, you can see, yep, there it goes, right there. I've tightened those. You can see I've pushed the gasket out there. I tightened it so much. Um, it's running off the body from somewhere up here. I'm not really sure what the deal is, but so there's my two wires, my hot wires. Those are 10, 10 gauge wires, both, and they go to the pumps individually. And you can see for some reason that pump is leaking. Um, it seems like everything I got from Amazon is leaking that pump that I had, the other pump on the left I had. So coming back, you've got your relays here, all right? And these are the two wires right here going out to the relays and to the pumps from the relays. So this is the Holly Terminator X right there, and it supplies power or activation. I simply took a loop, I looped it from there to this one, and basically made this guy another power source to feed the other pump, so that when the Holly says to send power, it sends power. And then basically, you know, you got your five wire relay or four wire relay, however you want to do that. And um, <clears throat> so it catches power over here. You've got a, I've got a 25 amp fuse coming off the white wire on the relay. Forgive me for some of my wiring mess. I'm really going to clean this up, I promise. It just takes a little bit of time and, you know, resources. But um, anyway, so there's kind of how I did that. And I didn't change anything in the actual software itself at all. Just knocked my head on the roll cage. That thing is heavy. It's solid. It's all there. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I'm using the blue as the signal wire to the relay. White's bringing power into the relay. Black is ground to the relay. And then yellow is your activation to the pump or to your, your source, whatever you're looking for. So there's how I did that. Guys, and we will All right, so I've been just walking around checking for leaks. Um, see if any more of these fittings, and you can kind of see that, wow, that fuel pressure goes down pretty quick. Um, but I've just been kind of walking around looking for leaks and just putting my hands on everything to make sure that, you know, I don't have gas just dripping anywhere. It seems like the only fittings that leaked were the ones back there. But uh, anyway, I've got a small task of putting the blow off on this guy, putting him on, and then that's what it'll actually look like, guys. And it'll be done. And there's the air to water intercooler and all the piping down there. Let's see the seams, connectors. I put a couple of seams in there just because just so I could get it out a little easier. And uh, I think I've got everything put back on. I've just got to finish tightening everything back up there. Probably clean out that tubing. Um, I had to fix the, uh, the belt. I, I don't know. This alternator, the way it sits, it hits on the back of the block right there. And so it angles it. So if you look well, I don't know if you can see that, but it angles it this way, 
kind of the way my hand's pointing. And so if you look down on it right there, it, it's pointed that way. So it's going to change the pulley angle. So, you know, I don't know if that's why it's kicking off or if it's just vibrating or what's happening. But uh, I will figure that out. And I could just simply remove that and show you guys. See how it's angled that way just a tad. If I put my hand on it to where you can kind of see the 